Hey guys, what's up? So to, in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I've been making my press-on nails at home. This was a set that I did and I absolutely fell in love. It's one of my favorite sets I've done. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So for starters, I want to show you guys the tools that I picked up off Amazon that I found very helpful when doing press-on nails. Um, the set I'm showing you guys right here is a set I did and they lasted me about two weeks which is really good and I feel like that's your average acrylic manicure um, time so yeah so I got these stands off Amazon they're about $11 and it's super key to get these stands these magnetic stands because it gives you a stable foundation to put your press on nails on and when you're ready to cure, you just cure all five nail tips in the UV LED lamp instead of doing individual one by one. Um, again, they were like pretty um, inexpensive, around $11. It was the cheapest ones I found off Amazon uh, personally. And yeah, so if I say and yeah, so one more time, I'm going to sock myself. Okay, so moving on, I have my nail tips. These are the McCart 500 piece coffin shaped nail tips. They're really good, you guys. They're super sturdy. I can like go, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can hit like the table and not feel my nails bend and they feel like real acrylic nails. They're not flimsy whatsoever. Um, they came in the sizes 0 to 9, which 0 being the largest, 9 being the smallest. Um, the shape was really good. Oh, and uh, right here I'm showing you guys the at the tip. Like, say you guys... Okay. Oh my god, I can't speak. So, at the tip, it has the number of the nail... So you, if you get if you get lost and you forget what you forget which number you're using, you can just refer to the very tip of the nail and you can see it there. So, and I also want to show you guys quickly how I organize all my nail stuff. I got this jewelry organization box from Ross for eight bucks, but I believe you can find one similar to this on Amazon. So I just have all my files, my buffer, um, this pickup tool that helps me, or this picker tool that helps me pick up my little jewels and place it. On, onto the nail it's dual sided which I love this next drawer I have all my nail tips which I don't like that I have it in this drawer but it's what's best for right now to keep me organized I definitely want to get something else to make it a little bit even more organized um, this next drawer I have all my glitters my butterfly decals these were so inexpensive off Amazon and they're so cute these butterfly decals right here are so adorable they look great in the sunlight they shine really nice um these foil thick foil glitters amazing too i have the gold ones on my pinky and my ring finger and yeah they're really cute uh and then off to the side i have my nails that are ready to be shipped in a little baggie these baggies i also got off amazon and they it was like i want to say seven to eight dollars i could be wrong for a huge pack of them so when I ship my nails out I do sell them so when I ship them out that's what I put them in and then the last top drawer I have all my butterfly stickers my uh, floral uh, nail decals that I use for my nails I have yet to use this yet I'm very excited to so maybe if you guys want to see a video of me doing that I will uh, these I so this is what I keep by me. I keep my dampen dish, which I, I put water in to use for my butterfly stickers. Um, I keep all my most used gel nail polishes off to the side right there, like my top, my base coat, so on and so forth. And then to my left, you see my UV LED lamp that I use to cure my nails. I'm gonna okay, moving on. <laughs> I'm showing here, I'm showing you guys my measuring post, how to like measure for a press on nail set on my Instagram. I do have a business page, so I will go ahead and link that down below. Um, so right here, I'm going to be doing a medium sized set and that's the most common medium, large, medium and large are the most common press on nail sizes. So I felt like just doing a medium size nail set. So right here, I'm just gathering all my numbers to put them to gather all my numbers to put them onto the nail stand and what I do is I take out each nail and I place it in front of me just to make sure before putting it onto the nail stand
once I have all of the nails laid out in front of me, I'm then going to take this putty or this sticky tab putty thing. I don't even know what it's really called. I'm going to form it into a really small ball and I'm going to place it onto the nail stand and that's what's going to be used to adhere my press-on nail to my nail stand. You want to make sure that you roll it so it's not too tacky so when, that you, when you pop off the press-on nail when you're done with everything, um, there's no residue of it left behind. So here I am just pressing it on. Make sure it's dirty and there you go. You're just going to... Go ahead and do that. I'm well, I hear. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of the nails. Okay, so once I've stuck all my nails onto my nail stand, I'm then going to take a file and I'm going to just file down my, um, that little tip. I don't know if you guys could see, there's like a little piece of plastic at the very tip of the nail and you just want to file that down gently. I forgot to mention that if you are going to cut your nails shorter and not keep them at a really long length, I totally recommend, um, not put not cutting them before putting them on the stand it just makes it a little bit easier in my opinion I don't know that's just me I found that when I cut it when it was on the stand it was harder for me but yeah you just want to make sure that you're filing your nails at a 90 g 90 degree angle so your tips don't end up all wonky and crooked okay once you filed off all those little plastic tips off the nails you're then gonna take a buffer now I do this because I was watching a YouTube video and this girl I can't even open that drawer look at me struggle <laughs> um, this girl explained that when she found she found that when she buffed the surface of her um, press on nails the polish lasted longer there was no chipping and they stayed shiny longer as well so that's just I'm that's what I'm gonna do here I like to just go up and up up and down motion on my press on nails just lightly buffing it nothing crazy I'm gonna show you guys you want to yeah okay there you go so there it is there's no shine anymore as you can see so you just want to make sure you take off the shine from your press on nails and you're just gonna do that to the rest of the nails Okay, and then I like to take a little bit of alcohol and spray the nails and then I'm going to take my nail brush and just kind of brush off any dust that might be on the nail still from buffing off the shine. I didn't do this one time and the polish picked up the dust particles and it made it look, re it made it look really ugly. Um, at, at this point, I didn't know what nail design I was going to go for so I pulled out all of my butterfly stickers um so I was just kind of like looking at them trying to get inspo of what nail design I wanted to do but I ended up going on Pinterest and I'll show you guys the picture right here and um I ended up going with like a an ombre kind of look but using my uh sequin butterfly glitter decal instead you guys are gonna see I what well, you guys saw in the beginning of the video that's what design I went for so yeah so this is the orange polish I'm using it's kind of a really sheer polish which I loved which makes your nails kind of give or gives your nails that glass um, look everyone's obsessed with right now uh, this the nail polish brand is candy lover or can lover something like that I got it off Amazon too. So here I am showing you. I'm using. I'm gonna be using the orange butterfly sequin decal and the silver one. So I'm just gonna alternate between that. And what you're gonna see me do here is put a base down because I do want 
my thumb pointer middle and pinky to be a dark orange so in order to do that my base will be white Okay, next I'm going to put my orange polish on top and I did about three coats of this in total. For my ring finger, I just um, put a little bit at the top and cured that and then eventually I just put a light coat at the very tip so it looked darker at the very top of the press on nail and super light at the bottom which gave it the perfect ombre effect. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you can see exactly what I did with the ring finger. I just placed polish at the very top of the nail, avoiding the very tip. That way, when it cured and I went in for my second coat, um, the top of the nail became darker. And when I brought the polish down to the, the bottom of the nail or the tip of the nail, it was still really light and it looked almost glass like in a sense I guess you could say yeah so that's what you could see right there I didn't make it perfect I kind of wanted to be like I wanted to be like sloppy where I stopped that way it could just look it could blend seamless seamlessly so yeah I know I should have probably I should probably get some nail glue to stick these little decals on but I find putting this base coat down where I'm gonna place my jewel then curing um, does make them stick for a pretty good amount of time so I'm just gonna put the base coat on the very tip of the nail I'm not gonna bring up this nail um, these butterfly sequins all the way up because I just wanted them to be where um, the the sheer part of the uh, nail was. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I had a braid fart on that. That was how it looked in the picture that I found on Pinterest. So yeah, I'm just going to be alternating between the orange butterfly and the silver butterfly. everything is cured I'm then gonna take my top coat this top coat is really good it's a no wipe top coat so you don't have to wipe that sticky layer with alcohol after you've cured it so it just makes the process even faster I'm gonna apply that to all of my nails and yeah that completes this video on how I got to this prep got Wow, wow did these press on nails i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a like hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you are notified every time i post i'll talk to you guys soon bye, bye.